Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and welcome the Eastern Oregon University graduating class of 2019. Welcome. My name is Lacey Carpillo. I'm the Vice President for Student Affairs. It is with great honor that I hereby open Eastern Oregon University's 89th Commencement Ceremony. Before we begin, we would like to humbly acknowledge the first peoples of this land Eastern Oregon University is upon. The Cayuse, Umatilla, Walla Walla, and Nez Perce people. We acknowledge and celebrate their traditions, languages, and stories. We acknowledge their continuing connection to this land, water, and community, and pay our respects to these original stewards of Eastern, Northern Eastern Oregon. Please welcome. Mm -hmm. 
Please welcome saxophonist Adam Lang to play the national anthem. Adam hails from Pendleton, Oregon, and he's graduating today with a bachelor's of music. Thank you, Adam. Friends, family, faculty, and graduates, you may now be seated. At this time, it is my honor to introduce Eastern Oregon University's president, Tom Insko. Wow, how was that for a start? Thank, thank you so much. That was, that was absolutely beautiful. And thank you, Dr. Carpillo. During the past year, we have made new friends and acquaintances, but also lost dear colleagues and friends. I would like to start our ceremony by observing a moment of silence in their honor. Thank you. This is the happiest day of the year at Eastern Oregon University. I remember being out there 25 years ago. I was sitting right over here. It's a great day. We mark the importance of the day with the solemnity of centuries long ritual and we celebrate. We celebrate because today like no other captures why we are here and why we enjoy being here. We celebrate first and foremost, of course, the graduates of whom we are all proud. Along with the graduates of Eastern Oregon University, we also celebrate Oregon Health and Science University's 38th commencement and Oregon State University's 33rd commencement in La Grande. I will now introduce those joining me on stage today. As I introduce you, please stand and remain standing Please hold your applause, if you would, until I have made all of the introductions. I would like to start with my good friend and our honored guest and keynote speaker, Sky Fitzgerald, Academy Award-nominated director and EOU alum. Also joining me are Dr. Sarah Witt, provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, Ms. Cheryl Martin, EOU board trustee, Dr. Lacey Carpillo, Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Dan Milkey, Dean, Colleges of Business and Education, Mr. Nate Lau, Dean, College of Arts, Humanity, Humanities and Social Sciences, Dr. Carla Hagen, Campus Associate Dean, Oregon Health and Science University. And seated to my right are members of our Board of Trustees, Mr. Mr. Richard Chavs, Dr. Abel Mendoza, and Miss Helen Moore. 
Thank you. Thank you. You may all be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize our 2019 distinguished faculty, Dr. Matt Cooper, and 2019 distinguished administrative professional, Ms. Heather Cashel. Please stand to be recognized. Dr. Cooper, Professor of Music, has the honor of being our Grand Marshal today, and Ms. Cashel, Executive Assistant to the President, is helping with today's ceremony. P please join me in congratulating them again. Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs> Um, it's truly an honor for me to make this next introduction. Uh, I had the pleasure and blessing to be a student uh, with our keynote speaker, this year's commencement speaker, Sky Fitzgerald. Uh, I truly um, am always blessed to be in his presence, and I know you will really enjoy his, his comments today. Sky was inducted as an honorary member of the Syrian American Medical Society for his work with Syrian refugees and named a distinguished alumnus at Eastern Oregon University for his documentary work. As a Fulbright research scholar, Fitzgerald produced the film Bomb Hunters in Cambodia and over the course of his career has collaborated with the Sundance Institute, the U.S. Institute of Peace, the State Department and Mountain Film. As a director of photography, Fitzgerald regularly lends his work for major broadcast and cable strands, including Dateline, Vice, CNN, and the Discovery, Travel, History, and Animal Planet channels. Fitzgerald is currently directing a trilogy of films on the global refugee crisis. The first, 50 Feet from Syria focused on doctors working on the Syrian border and was voted onto the short list of the Oscars. The second, Lifeboat, documents search and rescue operations off the coast of Libya and was nominated for an Academy Award. The third is yet to be filmed. And I can tell you, if you have the opportunity, please watch these. They are tremendously impactful documentaries. So join me and please give a warm welcome to Sky Fitzgerald. All right. <clears throat> I am so very happy to be here today. There is no other institution in the world I would rather speak at than Eastern Oregon University. Thank you, President Insko, for inviting me. And um, as President Insko mentioned, um, we did attend Eastern at the same time. So if any of you out there need any blackmail material, you know, letters of recommendation, things like that, look me up later, I can set you up. <laughs> Seriously, though, um, it really is an absolute honor to be here, to return to Eastern after so much time away from this beautiful valley. This is an important moment for each of you, a moment of decision that will shift the course of your life from this point forward. I believe deeply in linchpin moments in our lives, moments where we experience something that shapes who we are and who we become. And so I'm going to share three or four moments of my own today with the hope there may be something instructive to learn from the life of a filmmaker. Many years ago, I graduated from a small school in Grant County, as some of you may have. And when I say small, I don't mean small like this. I mean small like this. Um, there were seven graduates in my high school class. But more unusual than the size of the school was that my family lived 16 miles outside of town with no electricity or running water. We had wood cook stoves for heat, pulled drinking water from the creek, 
and had an outhouse. And in high school, I was a good student, but certainly wasn't the smartest of the group. That honor probably went to my friend Troy, who decided not to go to college at all, or maybe my friend Amy, who eventually found her way to Eastern herself and I think still lives here. So, so my point is, even out of a class of seven, I wasn't at the top. I had friends much smarter than I. I was also an athlete, cross country, but without an overabundance of natural talent. But for what I lacked in talent, I was able to rely upon a will to compete and determination to improve to fill the gap, although not always successfully. In one race, I pushed myself so hard that I blacked out 10 feet from the finish, and my coach had to tug me across the finish line. And the most revealing part of that experience is that I wasn't even close to winning the race. I was probably like middle of the pack or something. But, but I pushed myself that hard because I wanted to run the race as fast as I was capable. The rest of the pack be damned. And it was this capacity to exert, rather than any kind of talent, that brought me to Eastern as an 18-year-old to run cross country and track. And what I found, rather quickly, again, was that I was neither the fastest nor even close to being the most talented runner on the team. And that was OK. It was OK because I was competing, doing something I loved, and because of a specific moment I had my first week in Le Grand that I will never forget. One day, after a cross-country workout, I stepped into my apartment on First Street and turned on the hot water. And as I watched it flow from the faucet, endlessly, without pause, I experienced something far more important than being the fastest runner on a cross-country team. I experienced a simple moment of gratitude for my access to something as fundamental as running water. So this is the first moment of three I would like to share, the simple idea of appreciation for simple things that we take for granted that we shouldn't. Running water, lights that turn on with the flip of a switch, a flushing toilet. These may seem like givens, but not everyone has them, and much of the world's population doesn't. Gratitude. The second moment I have to offer has to do with fear. Right now, I imagine there are some of you who may be fearful about what comes next, about the unknowns and uncertainty surrounding leaving the comfort of this valley for the next phase of your life. And that's understandable. And so I'd like to share a moment that defined and changed me as a human being. Many years ago, I was riding my bike in Santa Monica along the beach parallel to the Pacific Coast Highway when I heard a tremendous boom. I rounded a corner, and there before me was a car crash. I don't know how it happened, but somehow a Volvo sedan had catapulted over a VW bus, peeling back the top like a can opener. There was a body in the middle of the road, headless, and another person in the road, unconscious, and another woman on the hood of the Volvo, moaning in pain. And as I took this in, a bystander, a woman, ran up and started administering first aid to the unconscious person in the middle of the road, checking vitals, etc. And at the same time, the woman on the hood of the Volvo, covered in blood, just rolled slowly back and forth, moaning. It was clear she was dying, that she was about to pass. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do, what I thought I should do. I wanted to help. I wanted to run to the hood of the car, grab her hand, and even if she were to pass quickly, let her know that someone was there watching, acknowledging, even if there was little I could do to save her life. And at that moment, sirens started blaring, and I knew they'd be there within minutes, perhaps sooner. And in that critical moment, I froze. Indecision, 
and fear gripped me, and I watched. I watched as this woman's life ebbed, as the paramedics arrived and tried and failed to save her life. This scene is seared into my memory as one of the great failures of my life. It's a moment I'm not proud of, a moment where I could have intervened and provided some measure of comfort to a fellow human being, no matter how fleeting. And all of the justifications for inaction rang hollow. The paramedics were moments away, no robust first aid training, she was dying, because I knew, I knew in my heart of hearts that I could have done something even if it was as simple as providing a moment of comfort. My failure to act in this moment profoundly affected me. And so I made a promise to myself. From that moment forward, in moments of indecision, when instinct told me I should act, I would act. That I wouldn't allow free fear to freeze me, but rather to propel me and motivate me. Since then, I've been chased by soldiers in the Congo, sparred with fur seals in the Antarctic, negotiated with human traffickers in Southeast Asia, filmed in Syria, hung off ice axes, filmed at Mount Everest, and documented villagers cut open 255 pound bombs with hacksaws for the value of the TNT inside. Now, some of these things may seem downright stupid, at least foolish, and in fact, I don't recommend all of them. Some may even call them mistakes. But the thing is, as you step out of here today and set out on your careers, you're going to make mistakes, and probably some big ones. That's part of the deal. But don't let those mistakes define you. Instead, ensure those mistakes define who you become. In my case, I learned to know fear. K-N-O-W, to embrace it, to understand it as a healthy mechanism for self-preservation, but also to allow it to catalyze me into action when faced with a troubling reality. So moment number two, fear. Know it, embrace it, leverage it. Which brings me to Eastern and moment number three. When I was a sophomore here, I was struggling with what I should study. And at the time, I was deeply enamored of the theater, but equally concerned that it was a fool's path fraught with the stereotypical angst of life as an artist. And so I thought, why not law school? So I spent a day at the library, studying what lawyers do, and found myself excited by the financial prospects, but entirely dispirited by the idea of sitting in an office all day. In fact, my struggle was educationally fundamental. I was concerned whether there was a real value in pursuing a liberal arts education. And in the middle of trying to sort this out, I mentioned it to a professor at Eastern who later became a mentor, someone who always gave me his fullest attention and mindfulness. And I'll never forget what Mark Shadle said to me that day. To paraphrase, a liberal arts education is not designed to learn how to make a living, but how to make a life worth living. And that stuck. That idea was enough to turn the tide and convince me that my intrinsic motivation to create was worth pursuing. And this idea has served to guide me in strange and mysterious ways since. For the past 19 years, I've made a living doing what I love creating nonfiction films on human rights issues. And I have my time here at Eastern to thank for this. Professors in small classes nurtured my questioning nature instead of trying to shape it. They also challenged the notion that practical concerns should trump an internal compass in life. For me, this idea is beautifully expressed by Sterling Hayden, the actor, author, and war hero. Quote, to be truly challenging, a voyage, like a life, must rest on a firm foundation of financial unrest. If you are contemplating a voyage and you have the means, 
Abandon the venture until your fortunes change. Only then will you know what the sea is all about. What does a person need, really need? A few pounds of food each day, heat and shelter, six feet to lie down in, and some form of working activity that will yield a sense of accomplishment." Unquote. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your family background is. It doesn't matter what the color of your skin is, what religion you practice, or who you love. It doesn't matter whether you have money or connections from this day forward. It only matters what you do with every day that follows. You don't have to be the smartest, the fastest, the biggest, or the most talented. We are not born with talent. We earn it through grit and a willingness to return to the task and do it better next time. We learn talent through improvement of craft and technique, the slow burn of incremental personal evolution. Never stop learning in order to execute your task a little better next time. If you do this, one day, you will produce not only your best work, but work that excels in your field. Believe that you can become the best nurse, the best rancher, the best engineer, the best educator, the best scientist, the best author or coach, because you can and you should. Believe there is meritocracy in the world. I want to share one last story before I go. Many years ago, I was filming a group of college students on a busy street in Tokyo, and I had a very large camera on my shoulder, and I was shooting news style with no assistance. And as we were about to cross the street, suddenly it began to rain hard. And as we walked across the intersection, a Japanese woman walking next to me silently moved her umbrella from over her head to cover me and the camera. And as we walked, and she covered me with her umbrella, she became absolutely soaked by the rain. And all the time, she looked straight ahead, never making eye contact. And when our paths diverged a block or two later, she simply kept walking, continued on her own path without looking back. A little wetter for the wear, but having done something incredibly kind for an absolute stranger. That moment was and is aspirational for me, and I believe can be instructional to each of us. As each of you walk your unique path after today, be sure to look around you as you walk and really see. See others. See need. See and understand that you have your own umbrella and the ability to shift it over to help someone else, even as you continue on your own way. I challenge you to leave here today with gratitude for what you have. I challenge you to face and embrace your own fear. Know it, and rather than allowing it to freeze you, let it catalyze you into action and to forge your own unique path in life. Lastly, know that you possess the ability to craft a life of meaning and meaningful acts in service of others and never, never forget where you come from. Each of you is from Eastern, and a kid from Eastern can do anything. Thank you. Thank you, Sky. Um, it's, it's now my honor to introduce EOU Board of Trustee Cheryl Martin. Trustee Martin will now offer a greeting on behalf of the board. Thank you, Tom, and thank you, Sky. I I love hearing his stories. It's wonderful. <clears throat> Good afternoon. What an honor to represent Eastern Oregon University Board of Trustees today for such a very special occasion. 
It is such a joy to see so many happy, smiling students and so many proud families and, and friends. In 2014, the state of Oregon allowed the individual universities to form their own governing boards. A positive step for EOU, as we are now governed by a board of individuals from throughout this region who are passionate about Eastern Oregon University and higher education. Many of us are alumni. In fact, I remember walking across this very stage quite a few years ago. <clears throat> we are educators, doctors, ranchers, cultural institute directors, business professionals, and faculty, staff, and students who have all, who love and care deeply about this institution and you. Our job is to oversee all that happens here. And because we care about you and what you have been doing to get here today, we also care about where you are going next, your future. As graduates of Eastern Oregon University, your future lies before you. You have attended the classes, completed the assignments, passed the tests, lived through the finals, and made it here today, graduation. You are shining examples of our future. You are models of what can be. You have determined your goals, you have envisioned your dreams, and you have realized the reality of your accomplishments. We are so very proud of you. May your futures be blessed, happy, and successful. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Each year, we select an outstanding graduating senior as the President's Scholar. That student is then asked to speak at graduation on behalf of you, the graduating class. An online student residing in North Carolina, Corey Heyman resumed her higher education at Eastern Oregon University in 2014. As a non-traditional student, she supported herself with a full-time career in the managed healthcare field. Corey's course, coursework focused on ethics, medical anthropology and sociology, as well as medical history and humanities. Through a unique experiential research opportunity supported by her professor, Dr. Aaron Thornburg, she explained that she found an intersection between her professional and educational journeys. She entwined 20 years of professional experience in managed healthcare and her capstone pro and her capstone project by exploring the gaps in the way Western culture supports end-of-life care. Corey exemplifies the innovative and tenacious spirit of a mountaineer. And today, she will officially be an EOU graduate and alumna. There's no doubt that she will continue to do great things in her chosen profession. As I mentioned, Corey is an online student thus making it a challenge to be here in person. However, she has pre-recorded her remarks for us to share with you. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Art Anthropology and a minor in Interdisciplinary Writing and Rhetoric, it is my pleasure to introduce Corey Heyman as the 2019 President Scholar. Please join me in congratulating Corey. Thank you for your introduction, President Insko. Greetings faculty, fellow classmates, friends, and family. It is my great honor and pleasure to speak to you today. In the tradition of commencement speeches, I would like to express my gratitude to those who have helped me along the way. Though words do not adequately convey the depth of my gratitude, I would like to thank my husband Richard, my parents John and Linda, two highly influential professors, Dr. Aaron Thornburg and Dr. Corey Brewster, and my lighthouse of advisor, Rhonda Hargess, as well as the rest of my family, friends, and faculty that have supported me along the way. It's graduation day, y'all. 
I'm sure many of you, like me, have thought this day would never get here, but here we are. And while I am thrilled, and I'm sure most of you are as well, it's a little bittersweet. Being a non-traditional distance student on the other end of the country can pose challenges. However, Eastern Oregon University's Mountaineer Spirit met no obstacles finding its way east. In fact, as I reflect upon my time here at Eastern Oregon University, I am reminded of a quote by Mary Tatum. Life is a patchwork quilt of separate experiences that come together in a unified whole, much like a handmade quilt. Indeed, our lives as students are like a patchwork quilt. Pieces and parts, ups and downs, stitched together through time. Each of our individual blocks of experience took place both together and apart over the past few years. Here we now sit, stitched together, a piece of history, the class of 2019. The anatomy of a patchwork quilt, as I'm sure you all are familiar, is a top layer with myriad colorful and complex pieces of fabric stitched together, a soft layer of batting, and a solid fabric on the back, which also binds all of the edges. Part utilitarian, part art, and part heirloom, and historically a community project. The top layer is a hodgepodge of fabric pieces. The patterns may differ, but they are colorful with a variety of textures, motifs, shapes, and sizes. Like those pieces, the student body of EOU is comprised of a variety of people from different walks of life, each of us adding color and texture to the visible most layer of our mountaineer quilt. The middle layer of a quilt is often unseen, but most definitely essential. It provides the cozy factor. This is the batting that cushions us, warms us, and provides a layer of support. This layer is made up of our faith, our family, and our friends. Our loved ones provide a necessary layer of comfort. The bottom layer of a quilt is a complementary backer, a solid piece of fabric that holds the patchwork pieces together at the back and all around the sides. To me, that is representative as the university as a whole, which is what brought us all together. It provided us with a solid educational background on which we can rely. The faculty, advisors, trustees, and administration make this layer possible. The threads that connect the layers of the quilt represent the mountaineer spirit. They are the ties that bind us together as a united front with loving support and a sturdy back. We are integrated, diverse, and interconnected student population. Together we are stronger, we do more, and we are united in purpose. We are bold, colorful, and enduring. And as I reflect upon our quilt, I am reminded of Eastern Oregon University's values and principles. These values are a heritage passed along to us during our time here. It is now our turn to take these values into the world, walk in them, talk in them, and share them gratuitously. Those values and principles are altruism, to give selflessly to empower one another and the university community through inclusiveness, appreciation, and stewardship. Civility, to believe in the free and open exchange of ideas, embrace diverse backgrounds, and deliberately seek multiple perspectives. Discovery, to honor our heritage and invest in our future with innovation, vision, and creativity. Integrity, to uphold the foundation of professionalism, honesty, respect, and sincerity in all of our interactions. Interdependence, to cultivate vibrant connections and relationships to enhance opportunity and success locally and globally. Quality, to passionately pursue intellectual engagement, academic rigor, and the highest standards in all our endeavors. We cannot fail if we approach our futures with these tenets. 
This is a fabulous legacy. Let us walk forward with these values sewn into the fabric of our lives here as students. Continue to sew together ideas to build upon what we have learned. And in this crazy quilt of life, I'm happy to count you all as my academic family. I thank you for your time today and my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, Corey. So are you all ready? <laughs> uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Nate Lau, Dean, College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. Well, the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Music in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. Please rise and proceed to the platform. President Insco, the students before you have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for their degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Eastern Oregon University Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Music with all the responsibilities privileges and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Will all of those receiving the bachelorette degrees please come forward. Berenice Chavez, Bachelor of Science in Anthropology Sociology, Bachelor of Science in Art, Cum Laude, Mumatilla, Oregon. Audrey Isabella Lind, Bachelor of Science in Art, Summa Cum Laude, from Portland, Oregon. Alexandra Marie Chachas, Bachelor of Science in Art from La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Haley Ray White, Bachelor of Science in Art from La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Amanda Alice Welch, Bachelor of Science in Art Cum Laude from Spokane, Washington. Mary Catherine Kellogg, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies, Summa Cum Laude from Bend, Oregon. Adam Lang, Bachelor of Music from Pendleton, Oregon. Sam Sean, Bachelor of Music and Bachelor of Science in Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude, La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Rob Wilson, Bachelor of Science in Theater Arts from Boise, Idaho. <laughs> D. 
Danielle May Duvall, Bachelor of Science in Theater Arts from Washougal, Washington. Sonia Marie Adams, Bachelor of Music from Washougal, Washington. Claudia Cervantes Cisneros, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies from Salem, Oregon. Chantel Morton, Bachelor of Science in Anthropology Sociology from Milton Freewater, Oregon. Taylor Nicole Tibbetts. Bachelor of Science, Anthropology, Sociology from Tenino, Washington. <laughs> Holly Mullins, Bachelor of Science in Anthropology, Sociology from Fruitland, Idaho. <laughs> Eric Wilson, Bachelor of Science, Anthropology, Sociology from Fernley, Nevada. Colton Dean Alafteras, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies from Prosser, Washington. <laughs> Stephanie George, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies from Seattle, Washington. <laughs> Mackenzie Ray Sheets, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies, Milton Freewater, Oregon. Cassidy Harris, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies, Cum Laude, Milton Freewater, Oregon. Andrea M. Klingberg, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies, Bachelor of Science Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude, Longview, Washington. Benjamin Corum, Bachelor of Arts in English Writing, summa cum laude, from Newburgh, Oregon. Brandy Jade Blackman, Bachelor of Science English Writing, Certificate of English for Speakers of Other Languages, from La Grande, Oregon. Kaylee Eva Cope, Bachelor of Science, English Writing, summa cum laude, from Vail, Oregon. <laughs> Nicole Harrison, Bachelor of Science, Integrative Studies, summa cum laude, Athena, Oregon. <laughs> Charlene Gagne Frett. Bachelor of Science, English Writing, Magna Cum Laude, from Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> Annika Nicole Miller, Bachelor of Science in History, from Hermiston, Oregon. <laughs> Valerie Gaffney, Bachelor of Science in History, from Spokane, Washington. Jace Cooper Emery, Bachelor of Science in History, from Weatherville, California, United States Air Force. <laughs> Kate Windsor, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies, from Sutherland, Oregon. Ashley Victoria Maloney, Bachelor of Science, English Writing, from Burns, Oregon. <laughs> Tiana Marriott, Bachelor of Science in English Writing, from Yarrington, Nevada.
Barbara Jo Hernandez, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies, summa cum laude from Kaiser, Oregon. <laughs> Mayan Buena McCoy, Bachelor of Science Integrative Studies from Halfway, Oregon. Quincy Bryan, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies from Bend, Oregon. <laughs> Benjamin Elmer Carpenter, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies, Colville, Washington. <laughs> Ryan Lee Minor, Bachelor of Arts Communication Studies, Union, Oregon. Julie Soulsby, Bachelor of Science, Liberal Studies, Madras, Oregon. Lance A. Nielsen, Bachelor of Science and in Integrative Studies, Union, Oregon. Shannon Lynn Singer. Bachelor of Science, Integrative Studies, Cum Laude, Baker City, Oregon. <laughs> Jessica D. Peterson, Bachelor of Science in Multidisciplinary Studies and Anthropology Sociology, La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Shasta M. Luker, Bachelor of Science, Integrative Studies, Bend, Oregon. Deborah Wheeler, Bachelor of Science, Integrative Studies, Boardman, Oregon. Seth Meeks, Bachelor of Science, Liberal Studies, Portland, Oregon. Haley Fitzpatrick, Bachelor of Science, English Writing, Pilot Rock, Oregon. <laughs> James Heinlein, Bachelor of Science, Politics and Economics, Sherwood, Oregon. <laughs> Michael Ray Swanson, Bachelor of Arts in History, Pendleton, Oregon. Nicole Charlene Evans, Bachelor of Science in History, Cum Laude, from Livermore, California. That's a big one. So it's Kaimi Lani, Ulu Aloha Zablan. Okay. And then from the one that you said, I'm not going to hold it. Okay. Okay. Kaimi Lani, Ulu Aloha Zablan, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies, from Lanai City, Waimanalo, Hawaii. Lauren Spencer, Bachelor of Science, Integrative Studies, Puyallup, Washington. <laughs> Kayla Schumacher, Bachelor of Science in History from Cottonwood, Idaho. <laughs> Kelly Nostrand, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, summa cum laude, Cove, Oregon. <laughs> Emily Marie Wren, Bachelor of Arts in History, summa cum laude, Lewiston, Idaho. <laughs> Sarah Danette Hammond, Bachelor of Science, English Writing, summa cum laude, Seattle, Washington. Sarah Bethany Douglas, 
Bachelor of Science English Writing from Santa Cruz, California. Sarah Lynn Newpert, Bachelor of Science Integrative Studies, magna cum laude, Sheridan, Oregon. Thank you, sir. Damian Garcia, Bachelor of Science in Art from Paramount, California. Allison Lindsay Johnson, Bachelor of Science in Integrative Studies, Weston, Oregon. Misha Feely, Bachelor of Science English Writing, Cum Laude, Dededo, Guam. Robert J. Feely, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies, Baker City, Oregon, Army National Guard. <laughs> Micah Hill, Bachelor of Science Anthropology Sociology, Marietta, California. <laughs> Got it. Aiden Wright, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies, Temecula, California. <laughs> Joshua Goodman, Bachelor of Science, English Writing, Apple Valley, California. Lacey Jo Avera, Bachelor of Science, Anthropology, Sociology, New Plymouth, Idaho. Summer Norton, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, Colton, Oregon. Annalisa Madrigal, Bachelor of Science, Liberal Studies, Hermiston, Oregon. Joel Sue, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, Cum Laude, Pendleton, Oregon. Chase Sheldon, Bachelor of Science, Integrative Studies, Roseburg, Oregon. Ian Kempton, Bachelor of Science, Media Arts and Communication, White Salmon, Washington. <laughs> Kara Campbell, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Bachelor of Science, English Writing, Cum Laude, Imbler, Oregon. <laughs> Connor William Miles, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Emmalyn Linnea Guzman, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, Cum Laude, Salmon, Idaho. <laughs> Jeffrey Patterson, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, Eatonville, Washington. Brandon David Hartill, Bachelor of Science Integrative Studies, Chatteroy, Washington. <laughs> Kane A. Stellings, Bachelor of Science Communication Studies, Somerville, Oregon. <laughs> Cameron Joseph Crippen, Bachelor of Science, Communication Studies, Manteca, California.
It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dan Milkey, Dean, Colleges of Business and Education. Will the graduates for the degree of Master of Arts in Teaching and Master of Science in Education in the College of Education please rise and proceed to the platform. <laughs> President Insko, the students before you have not only had the opportunity to be successful in their program of study and are not only recommended by their faculty, but they have endured the heat and they are by far the hottest future teachers we have. <laughs> Upon the recommendations of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Eastern Oregon University Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the degree of Master of Arts in Teaching and the degree of Master of Science in Education with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Will all those receiving the Master of Arts in Teaching and Master of Science in Education degrees please come forward. Dylan Hartley, Master of Arts in Teaching, Benton, Illinois. Yeah. Emily Laval, Master of Arts in Teaching, Pendleton, Oregon. Yeah. Amy House, Master of Arts in Teaching, Pendleton, Oregon. Lisa Marie Collier, Master of Arts in Teaching, Joseph, Oregon. <laughs> Rachel Wernzing, Master of Arts in Education, Athena, Oregon. <laughs> Taylor Willidson, Master of Arts in Teaching, Lagrand, Oregon. Bob Hempel, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Kelly Hood, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. Tracy Lynn Siri, Master of Arts in Teaching, Malin, Oregon. <laughs> Megan Nickel, Master of Arts in Teaching, Coca, Florida. <laughs> Carly Nutt. Master of Arts in Teaching, Payette, Idaho. <laughs> Hannah Elise Prince, Master of Arts in Teaching, Baker City, Oregon. <laughs> Jillian D. Hill, Master of Science in Education, <laughs> LeGrand, Oregon. Ryan Campbell, Master of Arts in Teaching, Hood River, Oregon. Anna Stargell, Master of Arts in Teaching, Camilla, Georgia. Destin Ramsey, Master of Arts in Teaching, The Dalles, Oregon. Nick Tayer, Master of Arts in Teaching. Yeah. 
Desiree Rausch, Master of Arts in Teaching, Hood River, Oregon. Holly Peniel, Master of Arts in Teaching, Silver Springs, Florida. Cassidy K. Corrigan, Master of Arts in Teaching, Crane, Oregon. Joel McKenzie, Master of Arts in Teaching, Ontario, Oregon. Mark Emerson, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. Kimberly West Insco, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. Nathan Zoon, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon, United States Marine Corps. Thomas James Sheehy, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. James Anthony Lingar, Master of Arts in Teaching, Boise, Idaho. Kelvin Connors, Master of Arts in Teaching, Winnemucca, Nevada. Khadija Neumeyer, Master of Arts in Teaching, Boise, Idaho. Chris John Andrea, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. Garrett Sawyer, Master of Arts in Teaching, Spokane, Washington. Isaac Eugene Lynch, Master of Arts in Teaching, La Grande, Oregon. Crystal Shadwald Smith, Master of Arts in Teaching, Bend, Oregon. Jacinia Maria Carrillo Casada, Master of Arts in Teaching, Stanfield, Oregon. Jennifer Lynn Gamash, Master of Arts in Teaching, Monroe, Oregon. Crystal Brockman, Master of Science in Education, Baker City, Oregon. Michael Hatch, Master of Science in Education, Boise, Idaho. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Education please rise and proceed to the platform. <clears throat> President Insko, the students before you have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for their degrees and they will be the next generation of great teachers in our state. Upon the recommendations of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Eastern Oregon University Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. 
Will all those receiving the baccalaureate degree please come forward? Joshua Annis, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, Dundee, Oregon. Misty Renee Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude, Baker City, Oregon. <laughs> Belinda Moore, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Myrtle Creek, Oregon. April Lynn Olson, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Irrigan, Oregon. <laughs> Megan Rowland, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, The Dales, Oregon. <laughs> Heidi Ann Smith, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Milton Freewater, Oregon. <laughs> Jessica Lorraine Reed, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Middleton, Idaho. <laughs> Annika Thais Dobo, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, The Dells, Oregon. <laughs> Lindsay Marie Caldera, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Cum Laude, Pendleton, Oregon. Jared Christopher Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, La Grande, Oregon. <laughs> Kirsten Murphy, Certificate English for Speakers of Other Languages, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Pendleton, Oregon. Michael Weisenflu, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, Pendleton, Oregon. <laughs> Kylie McMurtry, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Bachelor of Science, Physical Education and Health, summa cum laude, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Garth McCaleb, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Port Angeles, Washington. <laughs> William Isaiah Ephraim, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, and Elementary Education, Camas, Washington. Morgan Howes, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Elgin, Oregon. <laughs> Sage Mariah Smith, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Hermiston, Oregon. Bethany Deanne Van Cleve, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies and Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude, Pendleton, Oregon. <laughs> Haley Lynn Fuger, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies and Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude, Timber, Oregon.
Marissa Carson, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Cum Laude, La Grande, Oregon. Josephine Carol Reddington, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude, Milton Freewater, Oregon. <laughs> Emily Jane Sorry, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Pendleton, Oregon. Emily Christine Morrison, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, and Elementary Education, Vancouver, Washington. Adam James Webb, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, and Elementary Education, Baker City, Oregon. Laura Barrido Juarez, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Culver, Oregon. <laughs> Madison May Beck, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude, Parma, Idaho. E. Mendoza Bataran, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Umatilla, Oregon. <laughs> Riley K. Mason, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, Hermiston, Oregon. Tierney Lennis, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, Pendleton, Oregon. <laughs> Aaron DeAnda, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, Nyssa, Oregon. George Morris, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Homedale, Idaho. <laughs> Haley K. Wood, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Cum Laude, Arock, Oregon. Miguel Segura, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Nyssa, Oregon. <laughs> Don Marie Delbridge, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Nyssa, Oregon. Whitney Maxine Barnes, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Vail, Oregon. <laughs> Danae Pena, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Payette, Idaho. Ryan Allen Monroe, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Cum Laude, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Nicole Lynn Justo, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude, Portland, Oregon. Jennifer Lopez Guerrero, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, and Elementary Education, Gresham, Oregon. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Nicole Mecca Kyle, Bachelor of Science Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Portland, Oregon. Rebecca Thorson, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies in Elementary Education, Gresham, Oregon. <laughs> Oksana Sarosh, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude, Portland, Oregon. Allegra Herman, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies, and Elementary Education, Cum Laude, Sandy, Oregon. <laughs> Caitlin Fisher, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Carolina Krishnurik. Bachelor of Science in Multidisciplinary Studies and Elementary Education, Magnum Cum Laude, Happy Valley, Oregon. <laughs> Jesse Kerslake, Bachelor of Science, Multidisciplinary Studies and Elementary Education, Cum Laude, Corbett, Oregon. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Carla Hagen, Campus Associate Dean, Oregon Health and Science University School of Nursing at Eastern Oregon University. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing please arise and proceed to the platform. President Insko, on the behalf of the faculties of Oregon Health and Science University and Eastern Oregon University, the students before you have had the opportunity to complete their program of study and are re uh, recommended by the faculty for their degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Eastern Oregon University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Will all those receiving the Bachelor of Science degrees please come forward? That's you, Bill. Williams, Williams Simmons, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Prineville, Oregon. Nicole Lynn Magnuson, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Cum Laude, Albany, Oregon. Christina Johns, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Sisters, Oregon. Elena Baird, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Union, Oregon. Bailey Nanette Swales, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Rebecca Michelle Leone, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Happy Valley, Oregon. <laughs> Sabina Leinebach, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Cum Laude, Silverton, Oregon. Sierra Renee Christensen, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Magna Cum Laude, Pasco, Washington. <laughs> Madison McKay Woodworth, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Cum Laude, Hines, Oregon. <laughs> Dr. 
David Moore, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Turner, Oregon, United States Navy. <laughs> Kayla Ann Babcock, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Colton, Oregon. <laughs> Michaela Mormons, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, magna cum laude, Redmond, Oregon. <laughs> Brittany Karen Klein, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Bachelor of Science Psychology, magna cum laude, Blue River, Oregon. <laughs> Sierra Marie Freeman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude, Gladstone, Oregon. <laughs> Candace Sherman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, cum laude, Kalua, Hawaii. <laughs> Jamie George, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Bachelor of Science Psychology, La Grande, Oregon, Army National Guard. <laughs> Delaney McKenna Key, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, Bachelor of Science Physical Activity and Health, Cum Laude, Ontario, Oregon. Jay Mayo, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Baker City, Oregon. Sarah Elizabeth Knight, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Magna Cum Laude, La Grande, Oregon. Shanae Cheyenne Marie Gillahan, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Prairie City, Oregon. <laughs> April Denise Williamson, Bachelor of Science Nursing, Baker City, Oregon. <laughs> Julia Melanie Moorhead. Bachelor of Science Nursing, magna cum laude, La Grande, Oregon. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> Amy Wadley, Bachelor of Science Nursing, magna cum laude, Ketchikan, Alaska. <laughs> Doing great. Okay. <laughs> Christina Kiele Marcasano, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Seward, Alaska. <laughs> Last but not least, right. Reuben Edward Powell, Bachelor of Science of Nursing, magna cum laude, Morton, Washington. Congratulations, graduates. Would you please rise? You may now move your tassels from right to left. Blessed to have you as Mountaineer alums. Will the audience please rise for the singing of the alma mater led by Sonia Adams. Sonia hails from Washuga, Washington, and is graduating with the Bachelor of Music.
We are blessed with such talent, just yet another example of that. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, again, I want to congratulate all of our graduates and their families. Thank you for choosing EOU. We're proud to call you EOU alumni. Please remain standing as the graduates recess from the gymnasium where they will be greeted by their faculty, family, and friends.